Hi everybody, it's March 18, 2018. I just got an email from Microsoft telling me that they are updating their service agreement and if I continue to use my computer on May 1 and after, I've agreed to their terms. What are their terms? Well, they have knocked out class action suits. No longer can anybody file a class action suit or even class-wide arbitration. So, they're setting up a David and Goliath scenario. You have 60 days to resolve any dispute informally, and if it's not resolved, then your only recourse, your only action, binding arbitration. Binding arbitration with the American Arbitration Association. Do you trust the lawyers in the American Arbitration Association? Do you trust the Microsoft lawyers in that arbitration? I don't. You cannot sue in court. No judge, no jury to resolve any dispute. Okay. Uh, it used to be that when you enter a contract with an individual, with a company, with a corporation, that contract required signatures. And if you change the terms of that contract, it still required a signature. Now, well, we're trapped in this cyber world where your use is the signature. This agreement forces upon you. You, you, you have no choice. Your only choice is to not use Microsoft on May 1 and after. So that means that 90% of those who access the internet, they using PCs to do it, Microsoft, a huge monopoly, probably the, the biggest monopoly ever to exist. You don't agree with the terms? Don't use your computer. Really. You use any Microsoft product after May 1, that's it, you've agreed. And that agreement also allows Microsoft to update your computer any which way it wants to. And if you don't agree to an update that Microsoft wants to put on your computer, they will discontinue your service. So if they want to uh, update my Windows 7 to Windows 10 and I don't agree, they discontinue my use. See, you don't own your computer. It's not sold to you. What's sold is the license. You have permission to use their license. And they get to do whatever it, it, they want to do to a computer that you bought. This, the power that this agreement gives to Microsoft, is huge. So I'm not going to read all of the, the terms, but here it says you have to abide, abide by their code of conduct. And I'm not going to read all of it. Yes, you can't exploit, harm, threaten children. You can't send spam. You can't uh, engage in any activity that's illegal, fraudulent, false, misleading. But you also can't engage in activity that is harmful to you, the services, or others, like transmitting viruses, stalking, posting terrorist content, communicating hate speech, or advocating violence against others. So, we all know that hate speech, that is such a broad category that anybody can fall into if you have a view or an opinion that's different from, yes, the liberal progressive view, it's deemed hate speech. If you're not a feminist, then you hate women. If you are advocating for secure borders of your country, then you're engaging in hate speech. If you disagree with your government's policies regarding immigration, open borders, then you are engaging in hate speech. If you advocate for the enforcement of immigration law, you are engaging in hate speech. So if I post a video on 
uh, and state that I want our borders to be secure and that immigration law should be enforced. If I post a video stating that these sanctuary cities are in violation of law and that those mayors of the cities who implement their city as a sanctuary city, that they should be jailed because they are violating our immigration laws. I'm engaging in hate speech. And if Microsoft deems what I've said as hate speech, I disappear. They continue or discontinue my use of any Microsoft product, including my Microsoft account. When you buy a PC, you have a Microsoft account. This gives Microsoft tremendous power. And we used to break up monopolies, but now we don't. Why don't we? Well, this is the new world order. Microsoft is, is the new world order. When it has uh, a monopoly where 90% of those who access the computer or, or access the internet are using Microsoft PCs to do it, it gives Microsoft enormous power to control information, censor information, destroy free speech, and with no class action suit that Microsoft has now just said, any use after May 1, you have waived your right to engage in any kind of class action suit. So you're just an individual up against Microsoft. You know how many people will disappear from the cyber world? This is absolutely 1984 on steroids. No joke. You know, I have in many videos stated that, and it was addressing comments that I received. Carol, you're not even giving Trump any credit for pulling us out of the Paris Agreement. No, I don't. And frankly, I feel like everything that we are seeing and hearing is all staged. Trump says we're out of the Paris Accord and everybody goes, wow, he's going to make America great again. And then they sit back and do nothing while we have 396 mayors and governors of states that have signed on to the Paris Agreement and they are implementing it and we hear nothing from Trump. It used to be that any kind of international treaty required a president's signature and then Congress to ratify that treaty. Well, we don't have the government that we thought we did decades ago and we surely don't have the government that was founded here in our country. We have a corporate country. We've got a government that is a corporation. And my God, people are really just not waking up to the reality that we are being forced into a world where we will no longer be able to speak our opinion, state our views. If you go against government policy, then you're deemed a terrorist. So posting terrorist content, that could simply be people who are posting videos advocating for the Second Amendment. Oh, so you're for guns. That means you're a terrorist. When we start seeing people disappear from the internet, the chilling effect will be enormous because everybody will want access to the internet, but everybody will be silent. Governments will never break up Microsoft because it is the new world order. With 90% of those on PCs, Microsoft here, gets all of the information about the users 
as well as all of the information they put out on the internet. That is huge control. So like Trump, who doesn't get us out of the Paris Agreement, doesn't matter what he says, because it's still being implemented, the TPP. I also got comments from people saying, give him credit for getting us out of the TPP. One of the major arguments against the TPP, one of the provisions of the TPP that so many of us were really upset about was that it gave corporations the, uh, the ability to usurp a nation's sovereignty by circumventing its laws and rules and regulations. It gave corporations the right to decide its own rules, regulations, and laws, and it, it waived the right of those nations to sue the corporations. That's exactly what you have here in this service agreement, except it's with individuals. Microsoft is doing essentially what the TPP allowed. So does it matter? that Trump got us out of the TPP. When we have corporations already usurping the laws, the rules, the regulations of individual nations. Microsoft is making its own law, their own rules, their own regulations. You don't have a right to sue us in court. You don't have a right to have a judge or jury resolve any kind of dispute against us. You don't have a right to organize and file a class action suit. You don't have a right to say you don't want this update. Oh, your only right is that you no longer use your computer. So this is powerful coercion, leaving people no choice but to agree. Well, and we're not going to get out of this, not with the condition of the, not just Americans, but all of us in particularly Western nations because we have so many people who just don't care, who don't care about privacy, don't care about free speech, uh, don't care that corporations are taking away our rights, don't care about national sovereignty. They're the useful idiots for these sick, psychopathic, narcissistic, nut job, elitist, crazy people, globalists who are reshaping the world. And they're reshaping the world in an enormously evil, dark manner. I don't know about any of you, but it really pisses me off. <laughs>